Hey guys, welcome back to Landscape Baller, where this week we are going to be breaking down the water feature that you saw at the beginning of the video. If you want to show this to your friend or spouse to maybe do your own or replicate this, then maybe just send them to the video that we did from last week where it only shows just that. Otherwise, stick around so you can um, hear some of the details, informations, and the breakdown regarding this specific water feature, and if you want to use it or the ideas for your own project. Now, I will start with saying that there are many kinds of water features that you should consider, but one of those things that you should think about is where you want to put this water feature. What kind? Is it a bubbling boulder? Is it a fall type? Is it a riverbed kind like where it's really long and there's all kinds of rocks and falls and all those awesome things. So if you have the space, then that's going to be great, but also the elevation. I will be putting some samples as to what I'm talking about, different kinds. And also one of the things that's gonna be very important is your budget. Now that I won't be able to help, but some of those details regarding how we came up with this one, well, that I definitely can help. So I should say that when I was designing this, the homeowners wanted to have this in the backyard because that's where they were going to kind of hang out for the most part. And if you are very OCD, you probably don't like where we put this specific water feature, but there were a few reasons why we had to do it. Now, some of those reasons is basically that was the best location for this water feature. Now, this is a mix of a bubbling boulder at the very top, where in this case, we drill five holes for water to come out. You can do as many as you want, and it's going to depend on how big the boulder that you want or use is. If it's a smaller, you may only be able to do two or three. Um, you can also do potentially something that's gonna be more tall, like a basalt pillars. But in this case, we use a natural boulder. And in our area, they call them uh, different kinds of names. So depending on where you are, you'll have different kinds. Um, more on the area of moss, boulders, um, Arizona boulders, and there's all kinds. Now, this one took me about two months a bit more than that to locate this one and when i found it i tagged it and pretty much picked it up right away because i knew this was going to be a very very nice looking boulder for this specific project so i should say that you may want to look uh, for those kinds of boulders now, some of the moss boulders that I've seen in the area and in different areas, I should say, have a very nice um, configuration for the texture that um, they kind of form. Those are the best for this kind, in my opinion. But if you want to use uh, something like a, um, say, like a river boulder or a granite, you can definitely do so. Now, we also use um, a few other different materials. So the main boulder was that one. We also use Salome stone for some of those step down falls and also for the front wall now the front wall was of two and a half feet and in fact it was a bit more than that but then it kind of went down so three at the very max to two of course is a foundation and between that sitting wall and the actual water feature there were four feet of space now there is another wall behind it and that was with what we call in the area gambian granite and that was actually at four feet in elevation that wall in itself now depending on where you are there's probably a different name for that and i don't know what that is but it, it will matter if you want it to match your house or your stone if that is something very important to you then you may definitely look for something that's going to be maybe more on the cool grays reds or browns that will be on you but as i mentioned before the front wall was made from silicone stone stack stones and then the back was from those boulders and this was just to give it a bit more texture just to make it even more unique than already was if you were to go on google and kind of search a bubble boulder you are going to see something like what i'm showing you right now of course there's different kinds of those and depending on what you really want to do with your uh, with your feature you are gonna want to see what you want as i mentioned before we had to elevate this because of this sitting 
wall that was built by the builder and so this gave them whoever was looking at this water feature literally that sense of being really high and your focus on it one thing that we were also considering or at least i was considering was that in the background there is an area of golf though that in area in itself is very nice and pretty and green there are a lot of people that do walk there so that may or may not be something that you want to see all the time especially if you are hanging out with your friends or family that are visiting you and you just want to have more of that privacy so that was the reason why we kind of want to elevate more and also at the same time to create that fall that was mentioned earlier so in something like this specific to this water feature you want a pump that's gonna be pretty big of course it's going to be a basin at the very bottom to catch all the water uh, but the pump you are one to think somewhere in the area of uh, four to six thousand um, gallons of water that can handle that much of course if it was this type and it's longer you are going to need a pump that's gonna be able to be able to use all that water grab that water and take it to the top and do its nice flow situation i actually don't know if i'm saying that correctly but it is important to have a very powerful pump for that at the same time if you want to add more of those steps with the siloam stone that will be up to you in this case it does look like we only use three but in fact there is a bit more of that to create that sort of a staircase where the water goes down and it's just this extra effect um, just to give it that very nice uh, sound to it um, of course in the video in itself there's nothing that sound that shows the sound but in fact there is a good amount of sound now overall the rest um, in top and bottom we use rock um, just to cover it up we could have used mulch but in this area specifically um, they asked us not to just because of previous fires um, and they kind of want to be more safe on that that's something that you may want to take in consideration depending on where you are at the same time we use a different kinds of perennials and one thing i should say is that in this area there's a good amount of wildlife and because of that we didn't want to put too many where we knew for a fact that deer and other like critters were going to eat them and essentially just not make it look good but overall those are the main details of this and i know the breakdown doesn't have a ton of information but those are the key things that i was looking when i was designing this specific water feature where it was going to be the height of this one the materials for this ones um, even the boulder for the actual top part um, finding it was very important to me and this just so happened to be in the area though i should say i looked at it for a while so that also is important so here is the final design you see how to we put everything together what are your thoughts on this is there any question that you have about this because i know when i'm saying this everything is coming from a designer point of view where i did everything but maybe you are wanting to know something more specific let me know in the comments below or let me know if you are working on any of your projects we do have an instagram we do have a tech talk where you can reach us at um, on tiktok we're just doing sort of smaller videos of this and other little parts of information on instagram we're just putting more pictures of the project that i've been working on as of late but if you are working on your own let me know that way i can see what's going on there i definitely would like to see it because i do enjoy different designs and if you have anything else let me know below and of course please don't forget to like and subscribe it does help us reaching more people and that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget the model here which is dream design create and i will see you all on the next video take care bye